All right, here we go. Question number eight from our 1316 homework number three in my lab math. They want us to find the inverse function for the given function. It says find the range of f and the domain and range of the inverse, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is point out that this criteria they've given here, that x is to be between 0 and pi over 4, what they've given us here is the domain of f, okay? This is the domain of the given function. And if I were to rewrite that in interval notation, that would be everything from 0 to pi over 4, okay? So there's the domain of f, which they didn't ask for, but I'm showing you that's what it is in interval notation. The next thing I want to do is I want to actually use the 3S method for finding an inverse function. So the first S is substitute. We're going to substitute for f of x, and we're going to replace it with y. The second S is switch. Now we want to switch x and y. And the third S is solve. So the 3S method for finding an inverse function, substitute, switch, and solve. We're now going to solve for y, okay? <clears throat> so to get the y by itself, the first thing I'm going to have to get rid of is this lead coefficient. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 7. And that's going to give us... Uh, negative x over 7 equals cosine of 4y. And then the next thing I need to get rid of to get the y by itself is the trig function. So we're going to bring the cosine to the other side, and that's going to magi magically turn it into inverse cosine. Okay, it's not magic. It's mathematics. Bringing the cosine to the other side makes it inverse cosine of negative x over 7 equals, and now we just have 4y. And the last step to isolate the y is to divide both sides by 4. And that'll get these 4s to cancel. So notice now the y is by itself. And so at this point, we now have the inverse function. f inverse, that's going to be uh, let's see if I write it like this. That's going to be one fourth inverse cosine of negative x over seven. So there is my inverse function. And let's see if we can input that and check it for accuracy. One fourth inverse cosine. All right, how do I do inverse cosine? Let's do COS. And then to the minus 1, parentheses, negative x over 7. And fingers crossed. Mm, yeah. All right. Now, we know the range of the original function. If we scroll back up, the range are going to be the values that y can be. All right, so let's talk about what the graph maybe of this function might look like. Okay, so we know it's a cosine, and we know that cosine starts at the number in front. So on the y-axis, this graph would start down at negative 7. Because there's no phase shift, cosine, this cosine wave is going to start at negative 7, and that's going to be the y value when x is 0. That's where the wave starts. Now notice that this wave ends at pi over 4. So if we think about what the period is here, that's going to be 2 pi over 4, which is half of a pi. <clears throat> so if I go... Let's see here, a fourth and a fourth is a half. Then 
then this wave would end at negative 7, and it would go up, up, down, and down. If you wanted to look at what the graph might look at, it's real easy to sketch a quick graph here. The period, again, is uh, 2 pi over b, which is 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. So that's a complete wavelength. Uh, but we're only going to pi over 4, so if we stop that right here, we can see that the maximum y value is going to be positive 7, okay? So the range of f of the original function is everything from negative 7 to 7, and so that should be the range of our function with brackets negative 7 to 7, and that is using interval notation like it asked for. Now, for the domain of the inverse, we know that that is the range of the original. The domain of the inverse function is always the range of the original function. So we're going to copy and paste that again. And we know that the range of the inverse is the domain of the original. And we can see over here the domain of the original function in interval notation should be 0 to pi over 4. Whoops. 0 to pi over 4, close bracket, and I believe that's it. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me, and thanks for watching.